In search of the most innovative exhibitors of Form Next today, I have an appointment with Uwe Rotaug of Kurz Ersa. Hi Uwe, good to see you. Hi. <laughs> what are you presenting on your booth here at Form Next? Yeah, we, we are decided to go into 3D printing last year only and we found a good partner with LMI in the surrounding of the RWTH Aachen, which is a leading university in Germany. And so we brought in this spirit of the startup company and our long-term long experience in the, in the machine industry. We, are, we have a history of more than 240 years now. And these two things together will bring a lot of news uh, to, to the industry. Okay, so you have the experience of the traditional industry and you're mixing up with a startup spirit. Um, how is the audience here at Formnext reacting towards this offering? This is, uh, we have a great show. We have really a great show and many, many people are concrete interested in, in uh, buying machines, buying equipment. So it's really, uh, for us, it's a very exciting show. Okay, so you brought two products to your booth, one in physical and the other in digital way. Um, talking about the first one, the Alpha 140. What kind of machine is it and which uh, target market are you approaching with it? So the machine is an entry model for 3D printing. It's a, it's a simple machine, a simple design, which democratizes um, the 3D printing, which is a, um, a market price under 100,000 euro, which is uh, really uh, interesting for people who develop things, who are not using the machine all the time. You know, if you use the machine all the time for production, it's, it's a different machine. But for, for startup companies, for smaller companies, for education of people, so that's the right machine. And the next step then will be your Flying Ray, that is the new name of the new machine. What kind of machine is it? Uh, the Flying Ray is made for two purposes. Originally it was made uh, based on customer request in the foundry industry. They said, okay, before we start developing new parts, it's better to print it than making molds and things like that. So, And then that was uh, how we defined the size of the machine, which is 1.5 by 1 meter by 0.5 meter. So it's really a a big machine and then we found out that it's uh, many customers ask oh why don't you do uh, uh, why don't you print many small parts on the machine you can do that it's a big machine but you if you use the whole production area it's 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 a good thing and so we have two directions for that machine one is the big part and the other one is the many small parts. Okay, so and what are your plans for the future? Because I guess on next year's from next you will be back again. What are you planning to offer to the market for next year? Next year we are planning to offer print your production. That's really that uh, the, we wanna we wanna with our big machine we wanna leverage we wanna we wanna bring the uh, the the 3D printing into higher volumes. Uh, that, that is interesting for automotive, that is interesting for um, uh, medicine industry, for uh, many industries it's interesting. And this is our target. And next year we want to show that here. <laughs> Great, and we'll be back next year. Thank you, Uwe Rotar. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for watching.